Hey, how's it going? And welcome back to the series where we get all the Creation Club mods starting from level one. And in this video, we're going after the Spell Knight armor, which is pretty decent armor in my opinion. Uh, and remember, this series is just me guessing them. So for full specs, close-ups and thoughts, uh, check the links in the description box below for the full review video. Uh, and you may want to do it in particular for this one, as there's a kind of a twist at the end when you get to choose your armor. Uh, definitely worth checking before you go and get the um, the armor itself. Anyway, let's go. And I've got to head over to Mark Arthur. Yeah, I haven't discovered that yet, so I head to the stables. Oh God! Oh come on! Who oh, dear? Now you know why I bring the followers. I, what the hell have I done to uh, get high thugs after me? Ah. No, it doesn't matter. Uh, we dealt with them. Um, go on, where are you? Let me give you some room. Oh. Okay. Let's see who's sending them after me. Jawanan? I'll have to look that up. I don't know who the hell that is. I don't think, apart from nicking the crossbows in the last video, I don't think I've done anything. Okay, gotta be quick in here. Go, oh, careers quickly, quickly, get him. There you go. You're inside the city. Oh. Everyone, stay back. The Markarth City Guard have this all under control. Yeah, you got me quick when you're doing that. But you can ignore it, doesn't matter. Yeah, I can't stress enough if you are doing some of the hard ones on, on getting these at low level. You kind of do want followers. You don't actually 100% need them, but... Uh, for example, taking on hired thugs is a, a lot of running away. <laughs> a lot of running away. Which sometimes is fun, actually. Uh, but for the case of this, obviously I'm doing this to get them all as quickly as possible. So, for, for me, for this part, it's, um, having followers is uh, definitely the way to go. Did you see what happened? Oh, I think you dropped this. Some kind of note. No, I didn't. I really don't like Mark Arth. Actually, for the sake of the video, this is a little bit gloomy. Um, yeah, I think I'll uh, use the cheat controls. For your viewing pleasure, obviously. No, if you're watching a video, you don't want to sit in cloudy and stuff like that, so, and dingy. There you go. That's better.
Yeah, it can be kind of fun sort of playing in the rain and the fog and stuff, but yeah, for videos I don't think it makes good viewing, to be honest with you. And you always get the sound, especially when it's raining, you get the sound of the storm and the rain and you know, it can uh, kind of overpower the video, if that makes sense. Okay. It was a vampire, wasn't it? Okay, doesn't matter. I can't remember there's some Forsworn up here. Come on, mate, come on. Chop, chop. Oh, FYI, I'm still at level one. I haven't um, leveled up yet. Even though some of my skills are leveling up, um, my actual level, game level, is still number one. I may have to revisit that when I do things like Umbra. Because um, <laughs> I don't think I survived there on level one. there's something near here off the top of my head that I can fast travel to. I'm sure there's something around there you can fast travel to. Um, I'll come back and have a look at it another time. Probably an easier way down. Ah, 
And time for Stormy. Stormy, chop chop. Oh, you little bastard. Hold on, hold on. I'm getting flanked here. Oh dear. I think I'm in trouble. Coming after me. Oh, leave me alone. I don't know where the gang are gone. <laughs> I could be in trouble here. There you go. Good old story. This is a tough place to come. That's going to help storm me out. There you go. Okay, summon up here now. This little bastard was getting me ice spikes. There you go. Oh, you Oh. I'm sure there's loads of other stuff here. I'm not going to bother hunting around the camp. Oh, giant's toe, that's good. Oh, another giant's toe. Okay. Uh, yeah, we can head back, I think. Here you go. Right, head back.
Oh, it's not my gear. Got to turn around a bit. Okay, on this one I'm going to do sort of the nice way. Um, oh, yeah, pick up these. Uh, you've got a couple of sets here as well. And don't forget that all these are craft forms, blah, blah, blah. Re watch the video below because I'm just going to do one set of armour you can get. Uh, but there are two options for you. Um, the other one's probably slightly better. Um, but for the sake of this video, I'm going to actually purify the heart at the Shrine of Mara. Place it there still. There you go. And the two lovers reunited. There you go. It's kind of a sweet little story, this. Like I say, yeah, you can get two options on the armour uh, that's shown in the review uh, video. But uh, yeah, I'll have a quick, uh, a quick little shot of them now, but. Uh, like I say, full specs in the other video. Yeah, all these armours are actually really nice looking. The iron one in particular, if you use something like the Fasten Shield of the Crusader, if you have that mod, it, it makes it look like a, a hedge knight. The steel one and the ebony are kind of a little bit out of keeping. They're more medieval rather than the, sort of the Nordic, Celtic vibe you've got going in Skyrim. Both good looking armours though. Um, and you've got two choices on the enchantments. Uh, on the ebony, of course they are craftable and blah blah blah, uh, so you can put your own enchantments on them. But anyway, there you go, guys. Uh, hope you like it, and um, catch you next vid. Love you.